Hey guys, this is Elmo Novel. How are you doing guys? Um, today I'm gonna be giving you a run through through the beat I made for Cherry Cassava by Shemi J and Nuri. You know, I put a questionnaire out on Instagram asking, you know, if anybody wants to see how I made the beat, of course. So today I'm gonna be going through it, having a run through for it, and showing you the steps I took in making the beat for Cherry Cassava. So let's go. Firstly, let me give you the story behind it. As you know, I didn't really like that song, um, Tati, and everybody knows that song. But you know what? I was just playing around with some rhythms and stuff like that. And I was like, let me try it out because people are listening to it. It has a bounce to it. So why don't I make a soca version to the song? So the first version I made to the song, it had the lyrics to it. And it was really quick. It was quicker than the one I have now. But I really just started with... Um, I really started with this. That's the first thing I started with. I didn't know what to put next. Then, with all of this coming around, you know, I placed my drums in first. That's the first thing I wanted to get. I wanted to get a groove because, you know, anytime you, you hear Denry segment, because Cherka Saba is a mixture of Denry segment and Afrobeat music. And I tried to make it a fusion and I wanted to make a different sound to the Denry segment. So I wanted it to be my sound. And I love making music that will make people whine and you'll feel it in your heart. So yeah, basically that's what I did. So I started with the intro drum groove like this. Secondly, I went to the second, the second intro. The second intro is where it starts to lively up the music, where it's coming up to the chorus, but it's not just the chorus, it's still the intro. See that simple beat? Just simple, simple, but straight to the point. And then I went over to the percussion. The percussion, yes. The percussion is very simple. Then afterwards, I went into the, the groove, the simple groove that carries the song mostly, the drum beat. That's it. That type of beat, you feel it in your heart and you just want to wind dance, hold somebody, you know? <laughs> yes, so the next thing I did was the timpani. I added a timpani like, so at the intro, you always hear a doom, 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 doom. So, And there's the second timpani coming in right now, like this. I added, uh, um, yeah, the effect, the sound effect for the drop that comes into the drop. And the best of all, I wanted to add a little, you know, the modern feel to it. I didn't want to add my bass. Even though I play bass, I didn't want to add a bass into the music. So I added an 808. The 808 I use is called a long kick. So the way I went on doing it, the pattern I used in making it was... Pretty much that's it. Cherry cassava. Let's hear it.
Baby Ben, Ben. Baby Ben, Ben. Hey. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video.